In this video lecture, I'll explain a C program using pointer to function to find given two strings are equal or not. So whenever we write a C uh, program using function, we write three things, function prototype, function definition and function call. So here function prototype, uh, we write uh, immediately after header file. So this is function prototype. Okay. And this is totally optional if we write a function definition before main function. And this is a function call. Okay. So, uh, in function prototype, we write the return type, name of the function, and then we pass the argument. And we have to check two strings are equal or not. So, that means we will be passing two string as an argument to the function. And uh, we have to write a program using pointer to function. So, these argument will be of pointer type. Okay. And uh, since we are passing two string, so if I say string 1 and this is string 2. So, these are the two argument which we need to pass. So, when we say string, so it should be a character array. And since uh, it's a pointer to function, so it should be a character pointer. So, that's why we have written char star and char star. So, if you want, you can write like this char star first and then char star second. So, this is a character pointer. So, this uh, writing the name is optional. So, you can write only char star and char star. Okay. And uh, then uh, when we execute the program, control comes first to the main function. And inside main function, this, uh, this is the uh, variable declaration. So, we have to take two string. So, we have to declare it as a character array. And then one more variable result we have taken. And then uh, the printf function we have written. So, this message will be printed as it is on, this, on the output screen. Enter first string. And then gets first. This is the input function which will ask user to input the first string. So, enter first string will be, uh, this message will be, print it as it is on the screen and gets first win. Suppose I am inputting drum and then the next statement is again print of statement. So, the message we are printing enter second string. So, this also will be printed as it is get second. It will ask user to input the second string. Suppose I have entered drum. So, when we say it's a character array. So, what does it mean? Character array means it will be array. The name of the uh, array is first and the size we have taken 100 so that means 0 to 100 okay 0 to uh, 99 and then we say second is also a character array so this means this is the array and size is 100 so 0 to 99 and when we say uh, name of the array so name of the array will be a constant pointer to the base address base address is the first address of uh, first element address so when we say this is 0 this is 1, 2, up to 99. Here, suppose if I say address is 1000. So, since it's a character array, so this next one it will be 1001, 1002 and so on. Similarly, for second also, if it is 2000, this will be 2001, this will be 2002 and so on. And uh, name of the array will be a constant pointer to the base address. Means first, if I just write first, the name of the array is first, right? So, it will be pointing to 1000 memory location. And when I say just second, so it will be pointing to the second memory location. So, uh, second uh, string, first memory location, okay? Now, when we say we are passing a pointer, so pointer means we need to uh, pass the value by call by reference. I mean, we have to use call by reference method. Uh, so, call by reference, what we do, instead of passing the value, we pass the address. Okay, so here we should have written m% percent first and m% percent second. But why we have not written m% percent? Because when we say name of the array is a constant pointer to the first uh, address, right? So, that means first is equivalent to, it is equivalent to m% percent first zero. So, either I write m% percent first zero or I write just the name of the array, both are same. Similarly, second is the constant pointer to the base address of the string. So, this is equivalent to the second zero. So, that means if I say first, it will be pointing to the 1000 memory location. When I just say second, it is pointing to the 2000 memory location. And here 1000 is the base address of the first string. And here 
2000 is the base address of the second string. So instead of writing m percent, we if we, in case of uh, array, we have to just write the name of the array in call by reference. So this is this is uh, this is call by reference. So we are giving the address uh, of the first and second. Okay. So as soon as the compiler sees this uh, line, the control will go to the function definition. And here, when we come to the function definition, so here the arguments are what? These are pointers. So that here, uh, this first and second, these are the actual argument. And here, this char star first and char star second is the formal parameter. So what is the meaning? Whatever value we have given the first and second, the address of that is copied to this. Or we can say char star first is equal to first. So first is nothing but it is nothing but m percent first zero. Similarly, this means char star second is equal to second or m percent second zero. Okay. So now we have first and we have a pointer first that is pointing to the base address. Suppose it is thousand, thousand one, thousand two and so on and the input string was ram and same way second string also we entered ram so if it was 2000 this will be 2001 2002 and so on and the pointer second is now pointing to 2000 this is the meaning when we pass the address so now, when we say star first, so first means the uh, memory location 1000, second means the memory location 2000. When we say star first means the value at that memory location, that means R. When we say star second, that means the value at 2000 memory location, that is R. So this while loop we are checking star first is equal to star second. This is the body of the loop. This whatever we have written inside this will be executed. If this condition becomes false, we will come out of the while loop. And then inside while loop, we are checking if first is equal to null or second is equal to null. So one of the condition is true, this will be executed. The break, we will come out of the while loop. So why we are checking this condition? First is equal to null. So we know that when we write, uh, when we take string, compiler by default put null at the end of the string. So when we encounter null means end of the input string. So first star first is equal to null means we have reached end of the input string first star second is equal to null means we have reached at the end of the second input string so either of this are true definitely we need to break why because suppose we have uh, this string has ended what is the point of checking the next character right so we need to come out of this while loop itself otherwise we need to just increment the pointer first and second so when we write first plus plus that means it will point to the next memory location when we say only first it is pointing to thousand memory location we say first plus plus means it will point to the next memory location 1001 similarly when we say second it is pointing to 2000 second plus plus means it will point to the 2001 next memory location so we need to increment the pointer so that we can uh, compare the next character okay so for that and then once this condition becomes false we'll come out of the loop and we are checking star first is equal to null and star second also null when this is true then zero will be returned or minus 1 will be written. So this is true means this is definitely uh, that means both strings are both are same both the strings are same return minus 1 means both are not same okay. So whatever value is returned by this function 0 or minus 1 that is going to come here and then 0 if it returns 0 result will have 0. So 0 means strings are same that message is printed else the strings are not equal that message is printed so hope the concept is clear to you thanks for watching